sacrifice and success, and accountability. It's all on you. This is the Thinking Reality Podcast, episode number 91. Hang on, here we go. Your destiny is by your design. Getting what you want in your professional life is gained by following a series of steps created by your mindset. Are you ready to start the journey? This is the Think Your Reality Podcast. Here's Mike Sims. The good and the bad about life is that it's all on you. Your decisions, hopes, dreams, goals, and aspirations. It's all on you. The great news is you do have all that you need to get out of life that which you have set your sights on. Are you going to need help, encouragement, and some guidance? Yes, absolutely. Anyone and everyone that reached heights did so with the assistance of others. And that's why I'm here. This is the Think Your Reality Podcast, episode number 91. You have to be different and understand that most people never reach the level of success or life designed that you will. By virtue of you being different, you will attract your level of critics and naysayers. It's absolutely going to happen. I can tell you that with certainty. Some of them are going to be family members. But also, they will vacate the split second you hit it or will be the first to say they knew you would do it seen that as well and so will you difficult choices the tried and true versus the unknown the what everyone else has done versus the extraordinary the idea that success is meant for others and not you is an absolute fallacy those people that have told that to you in your life believed it for themselves and therefore they believe it for you they can believe it for themselves to their heart's content it's not true it is absolutely not true and history has taught us That people that have started with very meager beginnings have attained some absolutely awesome wealth and great influence in their lives. And you are no different than them. You won't get something for nothing. And that's the truth. You are going to give up some of what you are accustomed to and make some sacrifices. It's expected. It may be less television and even less excuses. Both of them are very good. It also may be the self-defeating attitude and activities. And those are an absolute must to discard as soon as you can. Reinventing yourself and getting comfortable with that feeling of uneasiness. Don't worry, it will pass. You make your new norm. Give it enough time to take hold. You have to understand that the situation you're in right now started as a new habit. If it doesn't suit you, we're going to change it. What do you give up versus what will you gain? Most people, though, they may not be excited about what they've accomplished in life. They do fear loss. Better to have what they have than to come away with nothing. It's a defeatist attitude and one that needs to be abandoned. If you're going to get where you deserve to be, you cannot accept anything in your life with a clenched fist. You have to let go of some of the things that you know you need to let go of in order to get the things that you know you want. It's a little bit of a habit change, but we're going to work on it through the podcast. You know, the amount of TV watched a day by the average person is two and a half hours. 8 billion videos watched every day on Facebook. 500 million people watch them on a daily basis. These are your competition. These are the people that want you to join them because they know they're going nowhere and they know misery loves company. So these are the people that you're competing with in life. Starting to get a sense that you are actually designed to be successful depending upon the choices you make. Sacrifice to success. Is your dream going to work? It will if you do. It will if you continue on the path and continue to develop a winning mindset and disregard the critics and the mistakes. We've touched on that. As we have discussed in a previous podcast, you're going to pay either way. You pay with your hard work and effort, which is a great joy, and enjoy a life many dream or talk about and admire you, or you pay with your unhappiness about not having followed your heart. And you and only you get to choose. So what are you willing to sacrifice for your dreams to become a a reality? Edit. So what are you willing to sacrifice for your dreams to become a reality? When it comes right down to it, you're not sacrificing a lot. Television, social media, etc. A toxic work life that you may have now. Facebook videos. Complacency. Add a balance of life and keep your priorities straight. But stay focused on what you're doing. Value your values and see what makes sense to spend less time doing. Personally, time spent with my wife, my kids, and children-in-law is critical to my happiness. 
I do enjoy getting up early, writing and researching the content for the podcast at a time where I typically would not spend being social with family or friends at 5, 6 o'clock in the morning. What joy is there in gaining your professional dream at the expense of those closest to you? I will never abdicate forsaking your family and friends to pursue the dream. Is it a balance of life, a tough thing to acquire? Yes. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Well, I'll make the time up when I hit it. Those things, people and life relationships may not be there. A balancing act needs to be performed as well. Sacrifice versus selfishness. Schedule those things most important to you and stick to it. Be willing to give up some of your leisure time. I said some, not all. Downtime is critical to you not burning out and losing your focus. Sacrifice your comfort zone. How comfortable are you if you're still in search of your life's goals? Think about that for a minute. Sacrifice your current mindset. That's what this podcast is all about. It's about changing the way you view and think about things. Change the way you view and value things and change the world you live in. My name is Mike Sims. This is the Thinking Reality Podcast. I'm grateful for your time. And as always, I wish you an absolutely awesome day as I know and believe in my heart and I'll convince you at some point in time, you deserve nothing less. Thank you so much.